Hello, hello! Nako, weekend na naman. At weekend, anong una natin gagawin? Matu- Chos, hindi tayo matutulog. Maglalaba tayo. At habang tayo ay naglalaba, mag-uusap tayo again ng mga palabang topics. Muli ako si Palabandera para sa mga palabang usapan habang tayo ay nag la la ba nag la la ba ay, ang dami nangyayari. Anyway, so, nalala mo ba yung time na may nakita kang Pinoy or Pinay na may kasamang foreigner? Di ba usual reaction mo is parang, oh, aray, ay, o kaya naman ang reaction mo ay, ganda ni girl. Pero deep inside, yung reaction mo din minsan ay, oh, sana ako naman. Bakit sila na lang parate? Anyway, so this week, meron tayong another important question. Ang question na to, sabi niya is, Palabandera, how do you really attract a fams? Sabi ko, ay, bakit ako yung tinanong? Expert ba ako sa subject matter na to? Ah, anyway, yung a fam po is actually a foreigner assigned in Manila. Anyway, it's a blanket um, acronym na ginagamit natin na sa someone na foreigner, someone of your different um, nationality. But the question is, bakit nga ba may need to attract a fans lately? One, of course, is globalization. Lahat ng mga tao naglipa na pa ikot ikot So, yung mga tao na masasagi mo sa kalye, hindi na lang necessarily from your own country. May mga, con- may mga tao na dyan na galing sa Africa, galing sa Europe, galing sa America. And you have to be ready on how to attract these people. Right? Right? Right. Okay. Second, yung choices mo noon na talagang nag-check dun sa standards mo, pakonti ng pakonti. Kasi minsan, yung choices mo, same na rin kayo ng choice. O di ba? Because of gender fluidity, etc. Lastly, in relation to your choices, pachusi ka naman ng pachusi. Kaya, kailangan habang pachusi ka ng pachusi, ine-expand mo yung territory na tinitingnan mo. And hence, kailangan all open ka to actually having an affair or considering a fams for your future love life. Ang dami-dami na pong successful of interracial relationship. Nandyan sa Instagram, makikita mo na sobrang sweet. For example, ni Khaled Karen and Joa, na ko I really love. I really love. Huwag na tayong lumayo. Itaas na natin. Um, Meghan Markle and of course, Prince Harry, o oh, ba From different countries. Who would have thought that they will end up together in such a very lovely inspiring love story. So, ikaw, ikaw na ba ang next Meghan Markle? Ikaw na ba ang next Khaled Karen? Nako, ito na. Ano ba yung mga concerns kasi natin? Ilalatag ko na muna yung mga concerns natin for, para sa first part ng video na to. Three things na concern natin usually on these kinds of relationships. First, communication. Siyempre, dyan na papasok na, kailangan ba palabandera best in English ako para mag-succeed ang aking pag attract sa AFAM? Mm, 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 mm. That's not true. So, because communication more than it is a science, it is actually an art. But, let's face it, may mga problema tayo on communicating our emotions. One, pag masaya ka at mahal na mahal mo yung tao, madali na i-communicate like, I love you, uh, 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 ang dami mong mga pahag, ang dami gestures to express the art of appreciation. But, pag galit ka dun sa person, dyan na yung mahirap. Nako, ang hirap i-express. Think about it. For example, kung gusto mong magalit na magalit, di ba meron tayong mga Pinoy expressions that we use? Like, um, manigas ka. So, how will you translate manigas ka to English? Like, freeze? Diba? Medyo iba yung impact eh. Second, ano ba yung mga Pinoy terms na saksak mo sa baga mo? Ganyan. Or napipiko na ako sa'yo. Diba ang hirap i-translate? But then again, um, as long as you actually express what you know and what you feel in different forms, one way or another, it will get across to the other person. Second concern, usually, is um, culture. Of course, nandiyan na yung mga iniisip na natin, ako, 
uh, magugustuhan kaya ako ng family niya o kaya um, magugustuhan kaya siya ng family ko um, o okay lang kaya siya dun sa mga kultura natin dito sa Pilipinas or dyan sa Pilipinas for that matter Nako girl, more than knowing about the um, culture and practices, what's really important to look at is the values of that person. And trust me, yung feeling mo na may great wall ka, sa sarili mo, wala yan, mawawala yan. Lastly, I, last and most important consideration and challenge would always be your own personal confidence. the fact na merong alam mo yung um concept of inferiority complex when someone is actually say for example physically someone is taller than you or someone has a fairer skin than you or someone has a more defined nose line you'll always feel na you're more pangit or you're actually not worth it for the person mm, 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 don't think of that okay again um one way or another The reason why that other person or that afam is talking to you is because you've got something that probably hindi mo by yourself nakikita. Mm. Ayan, kung natuwa kayo, mga kalabada, sa ating usapan this week, don't forget to hit subscribe at para na rin update kayo pag lumabas ng ating surprise guest sa susunod na part ng How to Attract Afams. Mwah,